uh, that this is composited from. It says, in addition to hydrocarbons, crude oil has organic organic compounds that contain nitrogen, sulfur, and oxygen, as well as carbon and hydrogen. It also contains trace mineral salts and metals. The most common metal is nickel, uh, vanadium, iron, copper, but can also include very small amounts of metals like uranium, arsenic, and mercury. And this strata of oil uh, that we're talking about uh, could just be amazing. But, but I understand when they're going for oil, you know, they call the different layers they're hitting, different strata of oil and natural gas, you know, different gas sands and you know, a, a different strata of the rock. But, but what I'm saying is if they're going down this deep, we know that these magma chambers can come up right to the surface. That's what a volcano is. And that they, a lot of people think they may have drilled down into the magma or something that's in between that uh, because of how uh, unusual this is. So that's the point I'm making about that, Lindsay. The only thing that I was assured of is that they have drilled into a strata that more than likely no other human being has ever gone into in the history of the world. It is what is called a super deep well, and because of it, they hit pressures that even Russia didn't. Uh, this is what I'm assured of by my informants. And as a result of that, to stop this thing by natural methods that have already been devised will be an impossibility. Uh, a nuke is probably the only way to do it. And I think everybody's scared to death. Of but they could blow out the whole thing, and the pressure could be so powerful that it just goes through the cracks, and then you've got an even bigger mess, and now you've got some two-mile-wide uh, cracked, uh, you know, mishmash, with, and it never ends. Well, you crack that strata further. See, they drilled into it with a pipe, and 25 to 30,000 feet down plus 5,000 feet of water. Now... When they drilled into that, they have already gone into it. But you go down with a nuke and crack it further, and it'll be a total impossibility to ever in the history of the world to fill that back up until the day that it has emptied itself. That would be so catastrophic, you don't even want to think and about it. And if the abiotic theory is true, and all the evidence is beginning to point towards it being true, more and more petroleum geologists are saying something's going on, these wells are replenishing, now, this is not finite. It could be an unlimited. I mean, the Gulf of Mexico could become known as the Black Black La Brea Tar Pit, and it could literally destroy the beaches of the planet for hundreds of years. Uh, Alex, a radio talk show host whom I will not mention, called me on yesterday. He is very well known. He said, Chaplain, I was supposed to have a person on my program tonight who is a tourist a rep uh, in the Keys, down towards Key West, off of Florida. And he said, uh, I had scheduled them. They were going to be on my program tonight. Can you fill in for them? I said, no. I promised Alex that I'd do his show first with this, and I kept my word. I said, why? He said, they called a few minutes ago, said that they were threatened. They were told not to appear on my program under any circumstances. There is a media blackout on this. I don't know what repercussions you may get from even having this program today. Some things have been said that could come from nowhere except inside sources. Even those people who have called into your program today have given details, but none of them have given intricacies, as you've heard. No, no, I want to be specific. I, I, I know the oil company executive. So does Dr. Monty from Separate Research. He's called him. I know you're for real. I mean, I know that you've been exposing this for 30 years and that you did work. Uh, with these big oil companies and that you do have these sources and everything you said makes sense. Uh, Lindsey Williams, I wish you were wrong and I wish I would have gotten you on earlier because uh, you've been calling this week. Uh, but, I, 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 you know, just at a subconscious level, I don't want to believe things are bad. You know, I, people think I just jump to conclusions. I don't. Uh, people were telling me four days ago there's troops all over the Gulf intimidating people. And now more and more it looks like that's true and they admit there's National Guard everywhere. Uh, and so I guess that's happening. You know, I mean, when somebody calls me and says there's Marines 300 miles from the border, uh, you know, searching people at checkpoints, I don't believe it. And then I get the state police press release and photos of it, and it's in the newspaper. I mean, it's just at a certain point, I can't believe all over the country they're taking people's homes for $360 unpaid water bills and $200 unpaid power bills and water bills. And I've got an article here today, uh, you know, Star Tribune. Uh, in jail for being in debt. It's not a crime to owe money to debtors. Prisons are abolished in the United States in the 19th century. The people are routinely being thrown into jail for failing to pay debts to even private corporations. I mean, I, 
There's not even a law they're putting him in jail, uh, Lindsey Williams. I mean, you know, I've got articles here. I mean, I, I'm finally getting overwhelmed. I mean, it's finally getting too insane, and I don't even... You know, I, I guess the Bible says they wear out the saints with all their, you know, chicanery and their enjoyment of it. And I'm not saying I'm a saint or anything, but, you know, it's just I feel worn out sometimes. I know you must feel worn out, you know, 30, 40 years fighting this. I don't know, 35 years, whatever it is. Uh, and I want to go to a few phone calls here, uh, but also tell folks how to get that new DVD you've put out on this so it's all clearly laid out. Uh, but from what you're saying and, and, and what appears to be happening, you know, I mean, the way they won't let the states protect themselves, so it's worse. The way they screwed up Katrina and, and, and made it as bad as they could so they can say, oh, look, FEMA needs more power. The way Obama now says, I'm going to get my carbon tax with this. Uh, the way they're now telling us it may go to Christmas. Then they said it may go for a year. Now they say it may go for two years. It looks like they're getting us ready to just say, the Gulf of Mexico is now going to be a black lagoon of toxic waste. Well, Eric, uh, Alex, I have covered what actually has happened, and I have given you documented uh, information. I, I have talked about what is happening, not only what did happen, but what is happening. Now I'd like to tell you what's going to happen. Uh, and I'll begin with John Hoffmeister. Now, I'm going to back up all of this with names and dates. I don't dare give this without it. John Hoffmeister is the former president of Shell Oil, is the author of a book entitled Why We Hate the Oil Companies. You, you can go find this for yourself. Now, here's what he says. The BP disaster has raised questions about halting risky domestic oil extraction procedures altogether, including deep water programs. But Hoffmeister, a longtime advocate of more domestic drilling, says America simply can't afford to stop drilling. America's net imports of foreign oil has jumped from 58.2 percent in 27 from 34.8 percent in 1973. That's according to the U.S. government. Now, Hoffmeister says... While we dream about new energy systems decades from now, the price to consumers will have to pay for things like gasoline, electric, diesel, would just skyrocket if America halted offshore drilling. Prices could go to a point where fixed income and low-income people are simply taken out of the personal mobility marketplace which would be a shock and unnecessary because of our willingness, unwillingness to produce domestic resources. Now I'm going to give you his prediction. Here it is. What you're going to be paying for gasoline. I, I, I'm surprised somebody hasn't asked that so far. I know it's down at the pump right now, but you haven't seen anything yet. I'm going to tell you what is John Hoffmeister's statement because you remember the president of the United States of America said just recently he's going to halt all future permits for offshore drilling, and here's what Hockmeister says. You can put it in your book. My Mr. X has told me this will probably happen, and here it is. People also don't want oil washing on their beaches, whether it is the Gulf of Mexico, Florida, or maybe the East Coast. I'll go into that in a moment. Do you think that American public is going to say, we don't want the drilling offshore anymore? Well, here's what he says. To accept he said, if, if Americans say that, you are going to be accepting 6 to $8 per gallon at the gas pump as an alternate in the near future. Folks, you are going to be paying 6 to $8 at the gas pump in the near future. Well, Lindsay, I All saw an AP article yesterday. I saw an AP article yesterday to interrupt where all the foreign oil companies and U.S. oil companies that had their rigs out there already drilling, the headline was, oil companies pull up stakes in the Gulf, and they're all just leaving. No new exploration, even in areas in international waters. It's over, and now Obama's saying he's going to try to stop deep drilling in the United States. And this is the move to nationalize the oil companies that we're now going to see from this, and, and uh, the head of the Department of Transportation two months ago was in the New York Times saying, we are officially anti-car, and we're going to make you use buses and trains. So this is their dream. You will be paying 
6 to $7 a gallon at the gas pump, 